This was the engine that used to be in this snowblower here. Uh, and this is my uh, Harbor Freight slash Princess Auto slash Honda Predator engine that I put in this old snowblower. So I bought this thing for about a hundred bucks a few years ago when I was renting and I had the driveway to clear. Now that I've got a place that has a driveway to clear, uh, I went to go and start it and this thing has always been a pain in the ass to start. I think it's just low compression. The engine never really had very much power. It wasn't a super great engine. It never started very easily. Uh, that's why I had taken the front cover off and I used to start it just by putting a drill on the uh, on the nut and then pulling it and starting it. So I did the swap. The motor actually bolts right right in. I didn't have to add any mounting hardware or anything. Uh, but what I did have to do was on this engine, the uh, or on this specific snowblower, the drive wheels ran off of the camshaft, uh, which runs in reverse to this. Uh, so. What I ended up doing and what I probably need to do in the future is I need to take the drive wheels out of this and flip them upside down and then put it in. That way I'll have my full speeds uh, forwards and backwards. Uh, so what I did instead was I just ran a two inch pulley here uh, off of the crankshaft and then that goes down to drive the wheels. Uh, the same as the belts, the, the auger. Uh, so in effect, what that means is that I only really have, I only have one backwards and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six forwards gears. Uh, once we get down here, it's it's way too fast to run anyways. Uh, the other thing that I did was I removed the uh, the throttle used to be up here. Uh, I left it down there because I, I mean, most of the time you just full throttle with snowblower anyway, so wasn't a big deal. Uh, the other thing that I had to do was that the, uh, the because this one is a um, push rod, or a, not a push rod, but it's a, I mean, it does have push rods, but it's uh, vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, this one, the valve cover kind of got in the way of the um, blower thing. So I just extended this out. I don't have a welder though, so I just used a, good old-fashioned Saskatchewan socket set uh, to put it in and uh, anyways that's that's my snowblower pretty easy conversion honestly uh, I didn't have any problems with it uh, I do it again this engine's great pulls starts every time and honestly I think it was $125 if, uh, if I had to do it again I'd just uh, I'd just pull it out and throw a new one in because it's not really worth the time of trying to get this thing to start. Um, anyways, have a good day.